extent that these people, these men, can carry on in their workplaces, they can carry on achieving, being regaled, being celebrated. And this is assumed to be a part of life. Because the, be it Harvey Weinstein or be it Kevin Spacey, the most alarming thing was that a lot of people already knew, right? It wasn't a big secret. It got out in the public domain, but in the business, in the <coughs> industry, a lot of people already knew. In fact, someone like, I think it was Ben Affleck, another actor, who uh, an actress kind of confided in and said that, you know, I'm uncomfortable with this man or I've had a bad experience with him. And he was just like, you know, chill out, you know, like relax, don't worry about it, like ignore him, stay away, you know. But the shocking thing was that this has been mainstreamed and normalized to such an extent that this is normal. I mean, this happens in Bollywood as well, yeah. Yeah. you know. I, are we getting to a point where Bollywood will actually have a Me Too campaign? I don't think so. You know, you saw what happened with Kangana recently. You know, I don't want to take sides in that. This That's probably not the best example also because, you know, it's clearly a situation of a personal relationship having gone wrong. And, you know, she's kind of very angry at Hrithik for whatever reason. But I'm just saying, you know, even every time, uh, just to use it as a very surface example of uh, what the, what is at stake if you speak out in Bollywood as a woman. Like, I can tell you whether Kangana is in the right or in the wrong. <coughs> Knowing what I know of the industry, I can assure you that there are going to be quite a lot of people who will not work with her, you know, without passing a judgment on whether she's right or wrong. But just for the fact that she came out and she said what she said, <coughs> there are a lot of people who will not work with her. So, you know, when Priyanka Chopra sits in Hollywood because she has a career in America and says, yes, we have this issue in India, or a Richa Chadda comes forward and says that, uh, you know, and she's not an A-list actress, remember. So she comes forward and she says, I can talk about this, but I need security, yeah. you know, to talk about this. Mm. I have been told, I have been told to go on dates with married actors. Now, we all know these stories. Mm. Like, you know, I mean, we know these stories. I remember when uh, there was this uh, incident, if you remember, of that uh, Jain girl when she came out against... Uh, Madhur Bhandarkar a couple of years ago with those yeah. accusations. Eventually it was proven wrong or there was some personal, again a personal equation gone wrong. But but I remember at that time I was, I was working on a film and uh, I was working with a lot of male directors because Bollywood is predominantly male yeah. and you know the yeah. men are the producers, the men are the directors, the men are the financers, financers everything you know. <laughs> So I asked them, you know, I said, I said, you know, this issue is going on and, uh, you know, what's going to happen because, uh, you know, it has to be safer for women. My perspective was like, are women safe in this industry? And so this male director looks at me, he's like, you're absolutely right, you know, he's like, I have to put a camera in my cabin. So he was immediately thinking about himself, that what if I'm accused of something like this and what will happen to my reputation? Yeah. So, you know, his response was, Self-preservation. He was. His response was, "I must put a camera in my cabin because a lot of these young actresses come to meet me for roles and all. And if I don't give them a job, they may turn around and say that I misbehaved with them. So you know that is uh, that was part of it. So so you know this is a bit brief overview of me too. Uh, so uh, basically, what I with the uh, you know little empathy and uh, but I feel as it has spread all over the countries, you know, going all over, uh, you know, to so many countries, and they've been naming it with their own languages, like China, Sweden, Spain, and everywhere. And I feel even in India, it has, to some extent, become quite popular amongst many people on the Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. Indirectly or directly, they have come forward and, you know, uh, but when you, India is actually consisting of I think 60-70% is the rural areas where actually I go into and deal with a lot of these women. <clears throat> I definitely feel that when you go into that area, most of them don't want to open their mouth. They are so, uh, you know, they're so uh, fear struck that they don't want to open uh, what they have gone through. And I feel, I mean, I feel we should start a campaign like saying with <laughs> you. Like, you know, mm, let's be with you, mm. you know, so mm. let's actually be with the victims who have gone through all of this disgrace and disgust <coughs> and they are unable to come out, talk about it openly, 
they don't have the guts because of the society or maybe even the acceptance by their own family you know to say okay so and and i think uh, this is and i feel they we should be all like you know be supportive to them and encourage them to stand back in their lives with grace and dignity and i also feel i think if this uh, campaign with you can support them to also encourage them to say no means no mm -hmm. whether wherever and however you are like however big or small you are but if the woman or a man has this power to say no it means no even at homes yeah. let's not just talk about fashion industry or a corporate uh, houses you know corporate offices so many times i've heard a lot of uh, male bosses you know they they need some kind of um, you know just for their uh, promotions and stuff like mm -hmm. that you know this is so common in a lot of these offices uh, you know where all of this is going on so i think uh, we need to stand with them for this cause and just say we are with you and let's when it, when it is no it means no i think and uh, i think there was such a wonderful movie pink which actually correlated with the friendship you know the the society the friendship uh, you know which we are all having and i think um, it goes into so many just not bollywood or hollywood or all of this it, it goes into smaller places areas where you know i mean those big um, you know urban places have those kind of uh, like um, obligations which they ask in return but i think smaller areas are also not left because when i know so many women talk about their problems in within their houses that's something which really feels i mean it's it's very shameful so i feel uh, i think more than me too simultaneously we should start a campaign with you you know and uh, i'm not a brilliant idea yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the right so i'm also more concerned about the lay woman who gaon mein kaam karti hai kheti mein kaam karti hai bilkul uska to koi voice nahi hai because this is all equation of power money, money and yes. politics yeah. so that's what i'm saying uh, yeah, we do so very sleep hmm. for this Mm -hmm. why didn't you complain yes. yeah. your mother was sitting next to you why didn't you do something there yeah. now how a woman reacts in that time frame mm -hmm. one cannot uh, decide for her decide. no when you are outside <laughs> of the situation mm -hmm. actually it's you know how we need to really emphasize on to uh, you know uh, bring in the awareness or maybe spread this kind of uh, uh, you know that uh, okay we are with you and we want to be with you and fully support them and you know bring them out of uh, their lives of uh, or the trauma that they have gone through i have actually sexually abused and killed by a by a guy schoolmate yeah. schoolmate and and it's sad to know that uh, youngsters are also facing all these kind of circumstances in in india so recently all the girls and boys are a bit of introvert they are not opening up with parents also because they are scared of their own own father because sometimes the father is also trying to sexually harass Abuse. them harass and not let them go in the night means means ola also there there's many many taxi drivers like ola they 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 try to search for women's numbers and try to tell them to give the numbers and all i have seen many cases like this but people are scared of coming out of them cuz they if they speak up the other person will try to pull them down and also i think 90% of crime is by people who know exactly <coughs> you know yeah, yeah. that is the so fact. so you know that is also a fact which which really mm. brings it right into your home mm. you know when this started me to started uh, the, my first reaction was kind of uh, what happened i re i went back to my childhood days mm. I would, i'm sharing for the first time in the public kind of domain what happened i was around 7 to 8 years old and ours was a very small place i come from a very very interior place in northeast of in um, 
India. I'm from Assam, and in Assam also I'm from North Qatar Hills. Mm. It's a very, very interior place, and it's a very small place with very closely knitted people. Very few people, we know each other, all of us we know each other. We were children, kind of around 15 children, we used to play every evening. And then what happened, somebody, uh, your neighbor, he's an uncle, mm. auntie, everybody like that. And there were kind of three men living in one house. Those were kind of government quarters, sort of. Mm. Uh, so they were sharing the same house because um, there were no other facilities available. It was a very interior place. So we used to go to their house, the whole group used to go to, in, into their house and take on magazines. Magazines are a very rare thing in that place, okay? And they used to have those, those sports illustrated, hmm. yeah, all those magazines and all. Hmm. Yeah, we used to have uh, take those. And we had this, uh, uh, like we were very fond of cutting pictures <coughs> and pasting on our uh, scrapbooks yeah. and all. So we used to go and take those older kind of issues. And then what happened? One day, we went there. Other children ran out and I was left behind and that man whom I call uncle, used to call uncle, he told me, he showed a pornography magazine and he said, Aisa dekhna hai to akeli aana. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's an interior place, all of us we know each other, even then the man sitting like a predator out there mm. telling me, I don't know, my gut feeling was kind of, okay, let's, I have to play, I ran away. Mm. I don't know how, like, something must, uh, could have could happened happen. kind of, you know, yeah. could have happened if I didn't run away that day. So the point is, there are such kind of people everywhere, yeah. everywhere. And of course, you are right. In most of the cases, the predators are somebody very close to us, whom we know. Yeah. They are moving around us within our close, very close circle yeah. actually. <laughs> that yeah. was the first reaction when I thought that. Yeah. It's kind of, and yeah. my fear people was kind of... confidence on them. Yeah. So these are, uh, my, he's my neighbor, and he's your uncle like that. So I was scared. That day when I came across this, my first kind of thought was, okay, that day I escaped. Has he tried to target anybody else? Mm -hmm. Did, Did you speak about it? I didn't know. I you was didn't not, I, I process wasn't aware. It, yeah. yeah. When I could actually process it, as you were saying, it was quite late. I was in college. Mm -hmm. By, and I had already come out of the place. There's no college in the place. So my first reaction, thought that came to, came to my mind was kind of, was there any other child whom he tried? Or has he succeeded with somebody? We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Actually. The thing is now that we have to do one job. 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 लॉयर है उसके फादर भी लॉयर है तो दिस मिस की वो कहीं से भी गिल्टी नहीं हो सकता है तो ये चीजें जो है इनको अगर खत्म करना है जैसे बोलते हैं समाप्त करना है तो हम लेडीज को सच में इंपावरमेंट की तरफ बढ़ना पड़ेगा इंपावर होना पड़ेगा कहने से कुछ नहीं होगा एक्शन में आना होगा कल का दिन हम उनको सोचते कि हम इनके बारे में किसी को भी कुछ कहेंगे तो लोग हमारे पर ही भरोसा नहीं करेंगे और उनके ऊपर भरोसा करेंगे उस वजह से ऐसा होता है कि जो भी हमारे घर के अंदर के लोग होते हैं वो वो हमें सेक्सुअली एब्यूज कर पाते हैं तो हम ऐसा मौका क्यों दे रहे हैं हमारे में चेंजेस क्यों नहीं आ रही कहां कमी है जो सुबजी ने भी कहा कि चेंजेस कहां आनी चाहिए किस तरीके से आनी चाहिए या जो चीजें उसको क्या मॉडर्नाइज करने की जरूरत है मैं ये नहीं कहती हूं कि हमें अपनी संस्कृति से अलग होना है लेकिन उसी में मॉडल वैल्यूज जो होते हैं या किस तरीके से उस चीज को आगे बढ़ाना है इसको देखना बहुत जरूरी है आई जस्ट हैव टू स्टार्ट कमिंग इनटू पेरेंटिंग एंड